Hey y'all, so it's me everything track, so I'm back at it again. Now, I just watched the NCAA Indoor Finals, and I have to say that I was very impressed, especially with Julian Alfred. Now, last year, Julian Alfred didn't really do too good, and what I'm talking, what am I talking about? First of all, I'm talking about the 60 meters. She came in fifth with a time of six, uh, I believe it was a 7.15 or something like that. And in the outdoors, I remember this, I remember this like big time. I don't think she even made it. Well, she did make it, but the time wasn't good. It was a 23.54. And I remember I had to watch it earlier today to make sure I wasn't tripping. So I watched it on YouTube and it, it, it did not look good at all. Like the Julian Alfred from last year versus this year are two different Julian Alfreds. Now, this year, as you all know, she now holds the uh, collegiate record in the indoor 200 meters. And if you all didn't watch that, you, you you really missed the race. Like, you really did just miss a race. I can't even tell you, like, what you missed. But anyways, <laughs> she ran a 22.01. Yes, you heard me correctly. A 22.01. So guess who is not the indoor 200-meter collegiate record holder anymore? Yes, you heard me correctly. Abby Stoner. Yep, you probably already knew that. I was going to say that already. Abby Steiner is no longer a holder for the 200 meters. Last year, she ran a 22.16 coming to first. Julian Alfred ran a 22.01 coming to first. Big ups to Julian Alfred because last year, it wasn't even close to a 22.01. It was a 23.65, whatever. It was bad, okay? So now the story is this. Can Julian Alfred beat dethroned well she already dethroned uh abby steiner julian alfred has finally dethroned abby steiner indoor 200 down for the outdoors this year what is that gonna look like well if we all remember last year abby steiner was on the tail like on the i'm talking about like on the air and every single day like abby steiner this abby steiner that abby steiner will eat eggs unraw you know uncooked you know like <laughs> everything was abby steiner so if we're looking at outdoors for Abby Steiner, she definitely did good. Uh, I think she ran two sub tens with legal win, 100 meters, uh, uh, by the way, twice. Julian Alfred did it three times. So as a 100 meter runner, Julian Alfred was already better than Abby Steiner last year. And while you're, you're probably thinking like, why didn't Julian Alfred run for us? That's because Julian Alfred is not from America. Cause I know people don't probably don't know that. I believe she's from the Bahamas or something like that. She's not from here. And looking at last year's times for Julian Alfred specifically for the 100 meters again she ran one two three four five she ran five sub 1100 meters two of them being a legal win so she did better than Abby Steiner where she ran one two three sub 10 I mean sub 1100 meters with two being legal so Julian Alfred is a better 100 meter runner and for the 200 meters, uh, let's just let's just say Abby Steiner would have beat Julian Alfred any time of the week. Uh, Julian Alfred was basically running bent 22s, uh, low 23s, while Abby Steiner was way ahead of that. She was running strictly 22s and a couple of 21s. So yeah, it's not the same. But this year is a whole different story for Julian Alfred. And that's where I'm coming in. I want you all to decide who is the better 200 meter runner this year. Because from the looks of it, especially from the 60 meters, I would say, Julian Alfred is also the indoor. She's also the world record. Oh, I'm going to say world record. But she's also the uh, indoor record holder as well as the world leading time holder for the 60 meters with a 964 so yeah she's uh i think she i believe she tied it or beat alaya hobbs now so she's in front of alaya hobbs so julian alfred has really you know did a lot this year she's became the world leader for the six indoor 60 meters being a holder for that and now that the indoor 60 meters are done she's basically the best at the 60 meters this year she now holds the collegiate record for the 200 meters this year and for the 100 meters i believe she's gonna you know sweep the floor again so abby stein on her hand all she's really had to show this year which aren't bad times by the way uh, don't get it twisted what i'm about to say but all she has done is a 300 meters and a 400 meters now that 400 wasn't bad it was a 50 59 and a 300 was also like the best uh, so far a 35 54 you know she's up there with femk bowl and sydney mclaughlin so 
I'm, I'm really looking at seeing some incredible times this year. I want to see Julian Alfred race Abby Steiner. I believe Abby Steiner can't beat Julian Alfred in anything except for a 200 and that's where i want to see where this is going to go because if she's running 2201 and indoors this year joint effort that is then i believe she will run a sub 22 200 meters outdoors you know we got to speak into the existence so Y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. Y'all think Julian Alfred is now better than Abby Steiner? I mean, paper-wise, she is better now. This year. Last year, she wasn't at all. But this year, she's a better 60-meter runner. She's a better 100-meter runner. And she also just beat her record at 200 meters. So, indoor-wise, technically, she's a better 200-meter runner indoors. So, outdoors, y'all let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.